Hey, hey, hey. Hope everybody's doing well. This is Joshua, your host for Authentic Intent, the pilot who saw the curve episode. Thanks everybody for stopping by and hanging out today. This is the debut of Flat Cap. And our first episode is going to start off uh, a little more choppier than uh, expected. It is raining outside. This intersection right here lost power, so it's flashing red lights right now. So we got a bit of a rainstorm going on. Good to see you. I saw a plane sailing in the chat room. Good to see you. Hey, Maltov, advanced settings. Good to see you. Hey, buddy. Yeah, we're in the house today, man. It is Sunday. August 6, 2017, starting up a, a new, fresh, exciting idea from the group of think tankers from the Flat Earth community. Good to see everybody. So we're on our way to set up our first meeting with our Uber driver. I hope they are prepared and in store for a an exciting fair. So before I did this, you know, clearly, you know, yeah, I'm nervous, so this is a, a new venture. I don't know what to expect, so we're live right now. So you're gonna see it as it happens. I'm on my way right now. I don't. I haven't even scheduled the Uber driver yet because it looks like they're about eight minutes away <coughs> from being able to. So ten minutes now. There's the closest Uber driver is ten minutes away. Zaves, good to see you. Flat Earth. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. This is definitely much better than TV. Tell a vision. Well, they're not gonna tell me any of their visions because we're creating our own reality right here. Ace McLeod, what's up? Woot woot. Good to see you. I hope you will be uh, entertained throughout the next, you know, hour and a half or so. I figured I'd be able to get probably three or four 20-minute interactions. We're going to, uh, at some point, head out to Lake Harriet. If it's raining, I don't know if that's going to happen, because I'm not going to stand out in the rain when I can sit in an Uber car, right? Pay attention, what's up? Good to see you, Days. Uh, no, I will not be driving. <laughs> I will be the passenger, and what I will be doing is I will be asking the Uber driver basic science questions that we all learned growing up. Hopefully they'll be able to answer, because each correct answer that they give me is going to be a $1 tip, right? So they're going to have to earn their money. IPS is in the house, good to see you. This is... Uh, an idea that he came up with, IPS. Thanks for your input. And I added my own flair to it. I came up with the idea that it should be similar to Cash Cab where I ask questions of the driver this time instead of the, the driver asking the passengers. So this is gonna be kind of a game show-esque feel. So each correct answer, the driver is going to get a $1 tip, and the maximum tip that I'm going to kind of give, allow them to have is 10 bucks. I mean, 10 bucks for a 15 or $20 fare is, is pretty good, considering that this fare that I'm looking at for my first one is going to be so that's about 20 bucks, you know, and then throw on a maximum of a $10 tip. That's a pretty good, it's a pretty good ride. And so before I 
you know, started, you know, driving and everything, I wanted to kind of get an idea of what Uber drivers expect from their passengers. And I came across this one video that said 13 types of Uber uh, passengers you'll come across. And out of all those 13, I didn't see a game show or flat earth or science questions. So I hope to be one of the more unique passengers that they will ever have. And it will clearly be a memorable experience. Hey, cat's eyes. Mew Mew is in the house. Hashu! And so, we are on our way to the first pickup. If you're just stopping in right now, I will plan my uh, first Uber ride. And then we'll go from there, and then we'll uh, get to my location where I'm going to be at after I ask them a series of questions like... So it is raining out, so we might have some slight technical difficulties. It's going to clear up in about 10 minutes, so you'll have to bear with us. Yes, I am going on Uber rides. And we're going to ask people basic junior high, high school science questions about outer space stuff with varying degrees of difficulty. So, like, how, so how much do clouds weigh? Does anybody know? How much do clouds weigh? The clouds right here that are storming on me. So the clouds that are above me right now raining on me with their chemtrails, chemtrail rain, are 1.1 million pounds. So they might not get that. Um, I might use some multiple choice to kind of give them an idea of, you know, kind of let them have a better idea of, of what number I'm looking for because not a lot of people would probably know that. But. Us flat earthers, 1.1 million pounds of water above me right now, how is gravity holding that water up? Right? How come there's clouds in the first place? If the average cloud weighs 1.1 million pounds, what's the deal with that? How is gravity holding the cloud up in the air? That's what I'd like to know. All right, so we are gonna confirm our Uber, which should show up in nine minutes. <laughs> I've never done Uber before either, so I don't really know what to expect. But I'm excited. I think this will be uh, quite enjoyable. Just post up right here. So we got about seven minutes. <coughs> Chevy Malibu is our first car that's going to be picking me up. So I'll get prepared here with all my stuff. I got my questions here on my laptop or uh, iPad. My questions, I got about 35 questions available with uh, varying degrees of difficulty. And so I'm excited, this is new for everybody, so I don't know what to expect, so be patient with me. Uh, if you have any uh, questions or suggestions later on how I can improve, we'll talk about that after my first ride. 
and then we'll kind of assess the situation together what I could have done better what uh, questions I should ask and whatnot and then you know try it out again and see what the next interaction is going to be like okay I just don't want to forget anything in the car so after this like as the day progresses I, I uh, would like to plan on going to Lake Harriet Lake Calhoun so hey split lickety split here good to see you no I'm not well thanks days but it, hey I gotta give credit IPS came up with the idea but you know we can come up with ideas all day right and it's until we execute these ideas you know that's how the establishment takes over this reality in which we live in because they don't sit behind a computer screen and just type up I hate the establishment you know and flame other people about chemtrails and vaccines and how angry they are and they make videos you know you can do that all day but to actively go out into the public is what makes change what causes people to to think and go well huh that's a good idea you know maybe I don't have the resources or maybe the I'm shy I'm an introvert but to take action is is the first step so yeah boots on the ground days Rosie good thanks a lot Rosie says yes respect man well I appreciate you guys coming here hopefully this will uh, you know whether it catches on or not I don't you know I don't give a rip this is what I want to do this is fun uh, so I do have links in the description on my GoFundMe page on how to uh, send gift cards directly to uber so I could use those gift cards to uber so they're not going to me not a shell you know give me a break I'm not a I'm not a Freemason either okay you see these rings on my finger right black and white Okay, let's just clarify why I wear these rings again, because I think a lot of people uh, may be confused and haven't seen my previous videos when I first started. Uh, hey, Flatlander, good to see you. Yeah, umbrella, well. So, the white, okay, that's on the left hand. That means commitment to truth, honor, commitment to love. Okay, that's why it's on the left hand. That's purity, that's truth. Okay, the black, there you go, figure that out, that's what that means, okay, establishment, that's my science, right there, okay, you lied, you lied to us, that means deception, okay, lies, deceit, hope that clears it up for a couple of people out there who message me privately and think that I'm undercover agent okay that's duality right there give me a break I've never been a part of a secret society never taken any oaths in that regard and I never will so anybody who wants to message me and say hey you should uh, you know you should message me so we can talk man yeah so you can try to give me your circular logic of how this reality is this and that give me a break there you go that's what that's what these rings mean okay <clears throat> all right so we're looking for a Chevy Malibu that's our first ride hey Chevy Malibu I don't know your name yet but I think you're gonna probably come into my my uh, my card here I'm bringing my cards with me so everybody's going to have an opportunity to look up the idea of the earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. So we've got a handful of these. We're going to hand them out to the various drivers. I plan on hopefully meeting three or four different drivers. And I, I don't think, you know, I don't think that they'll be 
put off by me uh, wanting to do this. And if they are, then we're going to wait for a new car. You know? Uh, most likely the, the Uber driver will have their own camera in their car, which you can do in Minnesota. So there's another clarification. In Minnesota, I am in within my legal right to live videotape or even just videotape them if I want as my own personal you know safety in Minnesota uh, I don't actually need the uber drivers permission to do so but I obviously want to have a good rapport with them so I'll I'll ask them uh, but legally they can also um, videotape me so I think this might be our, our first ride here guys so let's do it Got my keys. I want to make sure I don't lock my keys in the car. So good to see everybody. <clears throat> kind of think he's driving around. It's not raining out too bad right now. It's just a little sprinkle. I am getting chemtrail down right now, so I'm probably going to melt in a minute if I don't find safety. I have to flag this guy down. Stop! I'm right here! I really appreciate everybody watching. Share this if you can. Be great. The more exposure we can get. I'll wave to this guy. Uh, and see how this goes. Here we go, guys. Let's do it. How you doing, man? Hey, yeah, sir. Okay, All right. Very good. Good, good. Okay, guide me out of here. Yeah. Okay, you just uh, take a straight and then uh, take a right. Day today. Uh, it's been well. How about yourself? Yeah, it was good. Not, not, not complaining. It was, uh, good, good. It's rainy. Turn right I was a little bit busy, south. you know? Yeah. Do you mind if uh, you roll the window up here? Yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's all right, man. It's raining out a little bit. Take it right, huh? Yeah, sir. Do yeah, I'm doing work, actually. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm live on YouTube right now. Uh, I'm, I started a new show called Flat Cab. Yeah, and I ask uh, Uber drivers science questions. You like science and outer space and stuff? No, actually no. So I'm not good with that. So. No, you're not good with it? Yeah, so, no? Yeah, so. Well, it, it is it is kind of part of the show right now. So if, if you don't like it, I might have to turn around and, yeah, please do so. and, and talk to somebody else. Yeah, please do so. Yeah, yeah, yeah so. I wish I could help you. For yeah, that's all right, man. But, Thank you, so much. you know, or just go up ahead here and... Yeah, I appreciate it, you know, so if you could uh, turn off on me. Sure, yeah, I can turn it off on you. Yes, um, yes please. Thank you. But, so, what is it that uh, got you into Uber driving? Well, actually, actually, I want you to turn off, you know, and, uh, In a quarter and I'm not good with the show. Okay, you know where, I mean? but where are you going, man? No, you got to turn around and, like, bring me back to where I was. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. So, but what, what what got you into driving for Uber? Well, it's about uh, everybody's driving, you know. So, yeah. And, and, and that's the only thing, you know. So. Okay. So, so what, you want me to drive you back with it? Yeah, you? man. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. We're we're just tr uh, trying to find somebody that's uh, yeah, no, no, interested and yeah, no, no, don't worry. talking about don't, don't worry. space and. Yeah, absolutely. That, that that was really very good. Sure. Yeah. yeah that's good. Some people naturally they're born to, to be talkative, you know. What uh -huh. I mean? So I wasn't good for that. Not born to be talkative. Yeah, 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 sorry. No. Sorry for but that. since you're up here, you don't. Might as well just drive me up to, you know, partially. Where? Um, just keep driving. I'll tell you where to go. Okay. Yeah. Thank right you. on, man. Thank you. Thank you. No, that's all good. I appreciate it. Okay. And so, so what, what, what do you do living other than uh, uh, video tapping these things? You know, what do you do? I have a YouTube channel. Make money out of that or? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, I, I'm not looking to make money. Uh, I'm actually uh, 
talk about the uh, Earth being flat right. and not a ball like we're talking. Right? Uh, no, nope, keep going straight. Okay. Yeah, just, it's all good. Just, just tell me when to get Sure, okay. yep. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, and, uh, you know, I just talk about uh, science, and I ask people where they get their idea of outer space, and wow. us living on a spherical ball. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> I don't know that thing. So. Yeah? <laughs> you so don't, what, what do you do? By, what do you do by your real, real living? What, what do you why do? can't I do that? Why? Why can't I? Why can't I go on YouTube and interact with the public and talk uh, about and that? Make, and make money for that. Yeah. Right? yeah, that's good. But that's really good. you know what I mean? Like, yeah. does does working and getting a paycheck does that validate somebody's you know work ethic? Well, it depends on you know. Okay. Yeah, it depends. It depends on. What life and how satisfied you are, you know? Sure, yeah. yeah so, uh, Just keep going, yeah, man. You're good. And, and uh, it depends on, you know, how everything's about the satisfactions, you know? So. Uh, well, yeah, I think so. I yeah. think it's also how are you contributing to society. Absolutely. Exactly, yeah. exactly how you're contributing. To society. Yep. That, 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 that's the major factor. Yeah. You, know? uh, you can take yeah. this, take um, Plymouth Road. Okay. Wow, that's, that's really very good, man. Yeah. So, so I'm just kind of starting off. This is actually my first episode, so we're just trying to get a feel for what types of uh, Uber drivers there are. Right. Uh, I've never taken an Uber car before. <laughs> so, really? No. Uh -huh. I got my own car, you know, so I mean, what would I need to why take don't, a... Why don't you record the shows and then you edit it in a way that you could create like a documentary style then putting the live show, you know what I mean? That's... Because everybody likes live, man. Straight, right? Yes. Uh, no, take it right here. Yeah. Yep. Everybody, uh, everybody likes live, man. Live. Uh, yeah. And how many days you do a week? One round. Oh. Yeah. So we're just. Uh, I'm part of a community right. of people who have uh, an idea with evidence and proofs that the Earth is flat and motionless. And we're not spinning on a ball. Well, I'm not a science major, so. Oh, well, you don't have to be. Yeah, so I don't know nothing about that. Okay, but where do you where do you get your ideas of where we live? Do you know where we live right now? Well, I don't know. No. <laughs> None. No. I don't have any clue. You don't? No. <laughs> I think we live on Mars, right? We live on Mars? Yeah. Well, what if? What if I was to tell you that Mars is not a physical planet that we can land on? So where do you think that we live? Mars or Earth? Or uh, well, I, I believe that we live on Earth, but I believe that it's a flat, what, motionless plane. What is, what is the difference, Earth and, uh, and uh, Take a right up here. Yeah. yeah. Earth and... Uh, 600 feet. Make a U-turn at Cartway Lane. And uh, Mars, what is the difference? Well, we're, we're here on Earth, and that's real, and Mars, as described by NASA, is fantasy. Really? Yeah. That. Yeah, and take a just yeah. go straight. Really, actually, yeah. never, believe me, never thought that. You know? No. Is it fantasy? Yes, sir. Yep. Uh, never, mm -hmm. never thought that. Yeah. Um, if you were to how invest, many, how many population is in Mars roughly? <laughs> in Mars? Yeah, no, no. no. Uh, what do you think? I don't understand your question. No, my question would be how many people live in the Mars. Well, nobody lives on Mars. It's None, zero. Yeah, nobody. No creature. Lives. No. Uh. Uh. Totally zero. Do you think somebody lives on Mars? Mm. I never ask that questions, but I don't know. You know. So yeah. If I know, I will be able to answer. Sure. Do you, and you don't want confirmation that yes or no, or you just don't care. <laughs> not. Not. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't care. Yeah. Well, I don't have a clue for that. You know what I mean? Okay. If I have uh, something evidence, concrete evidence to to back it up. I could go ahead and you know what I mean. But, okay. Yeah, so. What if I get, what if I gave you uh, concrete evidence and then you could decide whether or not you, it's something that you wanna pr pursue? Like. You can just drop me off right up in front of this store here. Yeah. Yeah. Those one out here. Yeah. Uh, just straight ahead. Uh, yeah. Yep. Uh, that that one, right? Yep. Uh, oh, that's really very good. Because I do have some provocative evidence right here. That I could give you, and you can explore that on your own time, man. What's your okay, name? Okay, uh, Abdi. Abdi? Okay, I'm Joshua. Yes. 
Yes. Will, Real pleasure to meet yeah, you, man. I will, I will certainly give you a call. Thank okay. you, my friend. Okay, nice, nice hey, meeting you. Hey, you too, Abdi. Yeah, thank you, boss. We'll see you later. Thank you. Oh. That's okay, sir. All right. All right, man. Ask Take it easy. Ask this lady. Like sure, yeah. <laughs> All right, folks. Well. Abdi. Yeah, he knows now. All right, so... That's what we're going to come across, I guess. Let me, uh... Get a new cab. And, uh... So I hope I don't get charged for the destination I had planned, <laughs> right? Because right? that would not be pr productive. Okay, where to, boss? All right, well, we're going to go to where we were planning on going. And boom. Hey, it's not raining, so we got that going for us. So that's what's going to happen, you know, I mean, some people are going to be into it, some people aren't. Uh, he didn't know anything about outer space, and he was not at all intrigued about what we're doing here. Okay, so our next one, six minutes away, Toyota Camry. So we got six minutes, so... Yeah, right? Riding in style. That guy had a pretty nice car. It was a newer Chevy Malibu. Yeah, he was... He was really interested. He was into Mars. Hey, Abdi. Good to see you, man. Hope you uh, explore the idea of the Earth being flat and not a ball. Like we're all taught growing up. So... Hopefully he watches it. Well, Tyne, I do have an idea of the Quran. Um, I just have the, he laid the earth out like a carpet. You know, I got that going for me. But, Abdi, you can investigate your Quran, and it does, in a few verses, explain in somewhat great detail that the earth is flat, motionless, and firm. Because when you lay out a carpet, it doesn't have any bumps on it, right? It's flat, you know, and level. So, and uh, I'd like to use this opportunity also to be more interactive with you guys and gals to get uh, an idea of some of the questions that I can ask. Yeah, it's pretty poopy outside today. Somebody doesn't know where their car is, so they wanted to hit the panic button. I hear that. I see that a lot. Like, people hit their panic button on their car because they can't find it. It's embarrassing. So, hey, Joy. Hey, Loco. We're doing it. Yep, yeah, right? I'm going to get in this Toyota Camry coming up. Looking for somebody who wants to talk, you know, who wants to interact. He was not all about being on camera, though. That's that's a shame. Chris Fisk, good to see you. Keanu Collins, days it's not proof, just a good thought provider for Muslims. Yeah, it is. What do you do for, yeah, right? Usually I drink. Sometimes I eat and drink, Ace McLeod says, right? Yeah, I have geo geocentric love. Josh, have you thought about driving for Uber rather than taking rides? Uh, yeah, it has crossed my mind, but I have a 2000. And if I'm not mistaken for Uber, their cutoff is like 2002 or 2001. So... I know that they're Nazis about how they want their image to be. 
Hey, Jovi and Edwards, good to see you. You can't blame them about being on camera, I bet. Who cares, right? Well, to each their own. Yeah, I hope so, Daniel. Daniel says next driver is going to be a globy. <laughs> right? <laughs> Critical thinking always. Great work. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Good to see you. Oh, they will? They'll rent me a car? Better be a Maybach. Yeah, I think I'm alright on that, Days. I think we're gonna be okay today. Yeah, okay, I'll do that. Flat, Flat Earth Fish says maybe not mention the camera for a bit. Well... I mean, I really technically don't even have to, I technically don't even have to say anything about the camera. Hey, Night Angel, good to see you. Well, okay, Ace McCloud, Uber will give you a rental car like that Malibu if you drive X amount of hours. Well, only I'm going to only drive a Maybach. <laughs> so, Google Maybach and see what that kind of car looks like. <laughs> Bring up the flat earth, but yeah, the emergency landing. That gingerbread says, yep. How they had to divert. Yeah, could you imagine driving for Uber and then having these conversations? Because then I can legally have that camera, have a camera on in my car. Okay, yeah, I'll try that lickety split. We'll just, uh... You guys just want to go audio? You, you mind just going audio? You don't want to see the driver? That's fine. We'll just go audio. Hey, Loco, good. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your contribution. Always appreciate your driver to distribute red pills. Keep it up. Authentic intent. I appreciate it. Yeah, we are on a mission. Okay, yeah. Hey, nice car or something like that. <laughs> Their diamond club? What kind of what kind of cars do they have for their diamond club? So the guy, he, I was watching this video about the various people that you'll end up picking up. One of the types of uh, Uber passengers was you'll have to help people move, right? So you'll rent an Uber car like a SUV, and they'll just pile all their junk into your car. The Toyota Camry is arriving. All right. So you guys, you guys don't mind just going, uh, just audio, right? Nope. That's not it. That that wasn't it. I almost I almost creeped them out a little bit. UDX Toyota Camry UDX it said it's arriving. Maybe this is it right here. Nope. Somebody's calling me right now. All right. I think it's actually coming right now. We've had two Toyota Camrys show up. None of them are the car, but it said, the Uber app said that it's arriving. Where are you? Where are you, Uber? I know, right? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what's going on here. Oh, <laughs> lickety split. I got in the wrong car for a drug deal once. Sad day. That would be... 
quite intimidating, for sure. Well, this is slightly irritating. It said that it's arriving, but it hasn't arrived yet. Let me, uh... XDY. Oh, you are... He's way over there. Alright. Yeah, I know, right? It's the, it's, it says it's still two minutes away. <laughs> well, we're trying it out, Geocentric Love. Yeah, I mean, 20, 30 bucks, but if we can get a good interaction, I mean... Trying it out, you know? This, this is an interesting way to do it. It's different. We could probably try it one more time after this and see how it goes. Uh, no, I have uh, Flat, Flat Earth Fish says, do I get charged a fortune? No, I have unlimited data on Sprint. I've already capped at 60 gigs right now for my payment month. 60 gigs. Do you imagine going through AT&T or Verizon with 60 gigs? All right, dude, where are you? Like, I'm right here, dude. All right, I gotta walk, because this guy is lost. Or a girl. Could be a guy or girl. But they're not driving far enough. Like, I have my spot right here, and they're not driving far enough. So... You know, then again, I mean, I like the live stuff, but, I, you know, maybe I could, you know, he might have had a good idea. Maybe just do it and then edit it all together and put a bunch of rides together. You know, I hope, I hope you guys don't feel like I'm completely wasting your time, right? I hope you guys are enjoying each other's chat, at least. But... You know, stuff like this is going to come up and it's going to be a bit irritating. So, dude, where are you going? Hmm. Yeah, dude, I'm right here, man. Yeah, hey, whoa. Tony says that all the drivers in Minneapolis are cool. Yeah, I mean, I'd like to find out if we could get an interaction here with somebody. This was the plan today, but... All right, I think they're coming. I'm not sure, but let's find out. I have it where I want them to meet me, but they're... <sighs> Maybe I should be an Uber driver so I can pick up my passengers where I tell them to, right? <laughs> yeah, right. Ace McLeod. This looks like a shady drug deal right outside of the grocery store, right? But we're trying. Thanks a lot, Flat Trotter SS. Listening as you drive home. 
I don't really know what the holdup is here, but... <sighs> kind of disappointed right now. Hey, thanks Patricia. Appreciate it. I'm here supporting you guys too. I just want to, you know, make you proud. Old Blue. Make us proud, Old Blue. Uh, yeah, actually, it was kind of my first ride deep inside the rabbit hole, but the guy did not at all want to have any interaction in the car. So I had him drop me off uh, shortly down the road. But I did hand him off my card. Uh, he seemed like he was of the Muslim faith. And he just was not into it at all. This person, this, this person's really, uh, I have the address, you know. I wish I could call them. They keep just driving in a circle. They're over at the mall right now. Right? It probably is, DRTH. Is it the same driver? I, no, I don't think so because I, I confirmed it with a different person. It's This is a Toyota Camry this time. And they apparently don't understand that I'm here. I got the address. <sighs> so... Hey Dave, good to see ya. What was that? Can you call? Geocentric Love, you can call and text them through the app. I can, huh? Okay. For to call me. Okay. Well, that's that's why. Otherwise, okay. I arrived like a long time ago. Sure, man. Um, Where do we do you, go? Do you like science and, and outer space and whatnot? What science? Science, like outer space, Mars. Uh -uh. Do you like that stuff? Uh -uh. No? I, I am not just knowledgeable like that, you know. You're not into that? Yeah. No? Wh what's that? Well, because I, I, I kind of got a, a YouTube channel and I'm, I do uh, questions. I ask questions oh. of the driver oh, okay. of various uh, things about outer space. Yeah, I never just follow like that. No? Yeah. Okay, well, I do have a YouTube channel, man. I'm going to have to get another another driver. Why? Yeah, because yeah, that's what I do. So between my destinations, I talk to the Uber driver mm -hmm. about outer space, where we live, like... Uh, how many planets do we have in our solar system? Do you know? How many planets? Nine. Yeah. Nine, I think. No, eight. Eight, okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like, how fast are we? is the Earth spinning right now? Do I you know? Do, I, I don't know. You can teach me. Yeah? Uh -huh. are, you in, are, you, do you, are you into it? Because yeah, I, for, I each, for each question that you answer correctly is a $1 tip. Oh, okay. And if you cannot answer any questions correctly, you might not get any money. Oh, that's fine. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. Okay. <laughs> Where do we go? Uh, Starbucks. Okay. You are on the fastest route. You should reach your destination by 7.14 p.m. Okay, so we'll go there. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go there. The yeah. first one you gave yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. Let me just confirm for you. Sure. It says 79.79. Wage with... It's about 20 minutes from here. Sure. Don't be, don't be shy on the... Uh, 
It's kind of got to get there. Nope, take a right. Take a right this way? Yeah, or go up ahead and you can spin around there. Go straight, that's all right. So what's your name, man? Zeman. Zeman? Yeah. Okay, I'm Joshua. Joshua? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Turn left, I declare. You live in Minnesota? Yeah, I do. I live just uh, down the road here, 15 minutes away. Oh, okay. So you designed this this web website? Yeah, I got a YouTube channel. And uh, did you go to college? Yeah. Yeah. What did you go to college for, Zeman? I went to college for a pharmacy. You are on the fastest route. You should reach your destination by 7:14 p.m. <laughs> Did you go to college? What did you study? No, I didn't go to college. I just went to high school. Oh, okay. Yeah. And you interested in this nature, huh? Yeah, I'm interested in just informing the public. So, yeah, straight. Okay, you turn just interested in what? Yeah, I'm interested in uh, left, letting the public know <laughs> about where we live. Uh, turn left on about the pl our planet. Yeah. Uh -huh. And what is there anything about our planet that kind of fascinates you at all? No, I, you know, because I went out from school long time, I don't take any geography, I don't know that much, I, I don't read like uh, earth science okay. in a daily basis, and if you don't just follow the internet, if you don't use it a lot, you, you'll be out of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, Do you think the internet is a good uh, way to be educated? If you are selective, yeah, I said, if you are very selective to use, you know, okay. because the internet source is bulky, a lot, Yeah. and uh, some of them are negative. Yeah. In a quarter so mile, if you right are a very selective user, I'm, I'm saying that internet is a good way to learn a lot of things, you know, Yeah. but like the way I say, you need to know yourself first uh -huh. to choose the very useful, uh, yeah, yeah, but there are kids who you are on the internet like 24 7. I did have to change my fare, oh, so yeah. You, ch you changed the station? Yeah, yep. Just go the same way? Yep, the just same eight way. minutes. Yep, just take this way here. That's fine. Okay. But okay. Yeah, so internet is a good, a good uh, science, mm -hmm. a good uh, technology to learn. But we have to know to choose. Okay. In our age, it's good, but still. It doesn't matter, but that's the word I can say. West. If, you, if we use north. it properly, internet is a good means of learning. That's yes. what the answer. I, if, I feel like uh, me and a community of people have learned quite a bit about uh -huh. where we live and uh -huh. Earth and uh -huh. outer space. Uh -huh. Do you Take think that if I was to present you with some new controversial information, uh -huh. uh, would you investigate my claims? Uh, would you say a question again? North, yeah, would you, miles. would you question the information that I present to you, you should read even yeah. though, even though it goes against what we're taught in school? Yeah, I would not question. Maybe I question to understand. Okay, yeah, yeah that makes sense. Otherwise, I believe in the information. Maybe I question you to understand more that you emphasize on the point you gave me clearly more information. Okay. But I believe in information, whatever you just say. I'm very sure you'll not say for anything. You dig out the information from any source. I believe you. Okay. Um, so I got a question for you. Yeah. What do you think, uh, what do you think the characteristics of water are? Characteristics of water? Yeah. What, it, what does water usually do? Okay. What are the main uh, thing is uh, like in our? Let's start. Take a left. Gotta get on the left lane yeah. here. Yeah. Let's start from our uh, for our biological body. It's a means of transportation. Okay. Transport miles. Yeah. food from our esophagus. Okay. How about this? Let me ask you a different question. Mm -hmm. What are the characteris characteristics of water that you see on Earth? How about that? Does that help clarify what I'm kind of going? Characteristics? Yeah, what does water do on Earth that you notice? Do, for example, when you look at a lake, huh? do you notice the lake curving like a ball? Or is it level and flat? No, I, I say it's a curve. It does curve? Uh -huh. Okay. What, what evidence do you think you could show me that it does curve? Just by looking at, if you look at a lake, 
the like today and if you know that lake for 10 15 years there's a difference that's what i say okay what if i was to tell you that um you know like when you observe a boat mm -hmm. on the ocean have you ever seen the ocean before yeah i see i've seen the ocean yeah. okay uh, have you seen like objects that are off in the distance disappear over the horizon uh, I haven't seen that. You haven't seen that with your own eyes? No, no, I no? haven't seen that, yeah. So, if I was to tell you that there is an observation uh -huh. on Lake Michigan, uh -huh. where on one side of Lake Michigan, you and I are looking at the Chicago skyline uh -huh. from 52 miles away, uh -huh. in a half mile. with the Earth's curvature, we shouldn't be able to see the Sears Tower. Because that's 1,800 feet of curvature. Uh -huh. So take a right up here. Yeah. Okay. So does that make sense? Yeah. So if the if the Earth does if the Earth is a ball like we're taught in take school, uh -huh. we shouldn't right be able to see the Sears Tower after uh, over 52 miles away, but we can. Yeah. It makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So if I was to give you information about the characteristics of water again and you just told me that it does curve uh -huh. does that kind of help you understand yes that if the earth is over 70 percent water uh -huh. do you think that the earth could be flat yeah you think so take a take a left up here at the lake. Yeah, i think so yeah you think so yeah i think i think so because that's the information it's programmed in my mind yeah. yeah. Since I was uh, little. Okay. Yeah. Use I did not know any uh, evidence. I don't know anything. Boulevard. Nobody teaches me anything different. You know why? I'm right. Like, yeah. The first thing that it programmed is, <coughs> since you know yourself, that just told you that, feet, right you the globe or the map, you accept that, uh, they will question you to answer that, assuming to repeat what they told you. That's our uh, mind is programmed. Hey, that's a good answer, man. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. It is programming, and it's yeah. indoctrination. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, I do agree with that, because I do talk to a lot of college students, mm -hmm. and it is very difficult for them to come to the conclusions like you have, because they are currently in school, and what science teaches them is very different from what me and this community of flat earthers mm -hmm. believe. Mm-hmm. Right. And I, I would just so much encourage you to investigate the idea of the Earth being flat. That's why I gave you my card. Yeah, I have it. With some videos that you could sit down with your family, I can and see. I and can see. critically think and have some questions. You know. Yes. About why we're being taught the mm -hmm. idea of us living on a ball in outer space. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have another. Have you ever been to outer space before? Mm -mm. No, I haven't either. Right? <laughs> so, uh, what about the moon landing? What do you think about the moon landing? Uh, I do not know about the moon landing uh, uh, that much. Do you believe that we landed on the moon? I don't. No? <laughs> hey, don't. That's, hey, that's an honest answer. Thanks. Um, do you, how, can you mind if I ask how old you are? Yeah, you can ask me. Okay, how old are you? I am 53. 53, okay. Yeah, old. Oh, yay. Yeah. That's all right, man. Uh -huh. But you're wise. I mean, I, I appreciate your yeah, humbleness uh, of wanting, of just kind of seeing where I led you about the characteristics of water. And uh -huh. I think that it is true Wait, that water does not curve around a ball. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. I, I never oh. had maps. Sure. Yeah. So I did not know. Thank you. And it's a good opportunity to... I, uh, to meet you because if I don't uh, meet you, I don't learn. Yeah. You know, I, I had no anyone like this. This is my first time to tell you the truth. Okay. You well, know? Yeah. I, it's I, really a good. I, I'm very glad. Uh, I did not miss you. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'm glad that you were open yeah. to to want to listen. The, the last guy I talked to, he, we wasn't really into wanting to talk about this, so I kind of, you know, we didn't, we weren't able to really interact very much. So. Okay. 
but this is Starbucks, yeah. Oh, yeah, but you're going. Might be going the wrong, wrong way. I think. Oh, they are they drive yeah. through like a market. <laughs> it's all right, man. That. I was thinking that that's a door. Sure. No, that's fine, man. All right. Hey, thank you so much. Your name again? Yeah, Zeman. Zeman. Yes. Joshua. Okay. Pleasure meeting you, man. All I right. really uh, hope that you have a good rest of your afternoon. You too, Joshua. See ya. All right. All right. Okay. So, what do you think? That was good, man. That was, hey, that was worth the 15 bucks or whatever it costs to get here. He is informed. <coughs> and he was a humble man. Zemin, we salute you. And we hope that your travels on this flat, motionless plane bless you and yada yada yada. So we're at Starbucks. I'm gonna get a coffee. I don't usually go to Starbucks, so I don't know what they have. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Good. Yeah, we've made started for you. Uh, can I get a mocha cooler blended? Sure, one with coffee, without coffee. With coffee, with coffee. of course. Yeah. And what size for you? Uh, like a, a large is good. A large yeah. Okay. Anything else today? Uh, no, do you have dark chocolate? Um, we don't have dark chocolate. We only have one chocolate, unfortunately. It's like a oh medium my. chocolate. It's not quite milk chocolate, it's a little bit darker. Okay, chocolate. yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Anything else today? No, that's it. Actually, you can insert that oh, sure. right over there. Perfect. And I will have it right over then for you, sir. All right, thanks. She didn't ask me what my name was. I guess there's not enough people here. Hey, Jordan, good to see you. Jules? Joy, good to see you. Still hanging out. DJ Black, I don't know what you just said, man. <laughs> hey, Steve. Jordan Hatch, hey, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. All right. Let's get our next ride. All right, I'm picking my next ride here. Hey, thanks a lot. Hey, I'm so sorry. I forgot to ask you, could you take the whip off? Oh, yeah. Hey, that's all right. Yeah, it's my fault. Hey, thanks a lot. Yeah, you're welcome. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. All right. We got it.
Hey Charm, good to see you. The earth is indeed flat. <laughs> well, cause it's already got enough sugar in it, Keanu Collins. I don't need all that whipped cream on there, dude. Hey, if you if you like all that whipped cream on there, that's that's you, man. That's cool. But all right, we got a 16-minute arrival. Yeah, that's a good point, Simon. Okay. Yep. That's the that's the quickest I got. I got 15 minutes now. So. Yeah, think for yourselves. I got a cold coffee. Yeah, well, I will. Hang on, hang on. I don't want to I don't want to do it too early. Um So what are what what do you think are some other ways that we can do this? Because if they're not into it, but they want, but if they're not into like the questions and stuff, how can we have an interaction that would pan out, you know? Yeah. Have you heard about those crazy flat earthers? Make them curious? Well, how do, how do we do that, Jibby? Because the last two guys, uh, they just weren't into it. I'd love to have a younger person. The last two guys were in their 50s, for sure. Okay. Because I was trying to get them... Because, like, each, each answer that they give me correctly would be a dollar tip. You know, on Cash Cab, they offer money. I mean, they're offering them 50 to $100. It's not, like, a $1 tip here and there. So, I see, I see some good potential here, but, but that interaction that we had with him was great. Even though I, didn't, I wasn't able to lay out questions or anything... He still was into it, and I, I gave him the idea. What do you, do you think I did okay with the water thing? You know, trying to help him understand that water is level, because he, at first, thought that it curved around a ball. So, okay, hold on a second. DRTH. He says, make an offer. Hey, there are people that think the earth is flat. I'm offering $10 for every proof you can give me that shows we live on a spinning globe. Then explain how that is not a proof. Okay. Religion questions? Well, there were two people who seem to be Muslim, Faith. Hey, Mickey Rush, thanks for hanging out, coming in, stopping by. The boat thing is good, you know, yeah, about the... Uh, the distance, curved lake, right? Yeah, I, I can see that. All is one now says, if you offer money, they'll just agree to anything. A question on things 
Daniel says, question on things they like first, sports, movies, whatnot, and then slip it in. Always best to start with what you can prove, and they can also prove to themselves, Jibby says. No curve, that's the smoking gun. Well, yeah, copacetic, of course. When she's done making this coffee, I'm going to go talk to her. Hey, proprietor. Good to see you. Thank you. A way up... A way to up the money without going bankrupt. Well, yeah, I gotta wait five more minutes, man. I canceled the one and then I got another one, and that was still 15 minutes away. Coffee on me, bro. Enjoy that. For you. <laughs> Thanks, man. Flat Earth fish. Okay, check this out. Hey, see, I got a, uh, a YouTube channel. Oh, sure. It's probably uh, one of the most unique tips that you're probably going to get. Yeah. yeah. And I do science questions, and uh, I actually interact with the public about, like, basic things like uh, outer space, various natures about water and earth and stuff. Okay. Can I ask you kind of a question? Um, I'm not really sure. I'm kind of working right I know, now. I know. I know. Just sure. one real quick question. Sure, what's up? Could you give me one proof that you can prove to me that we live on a spinning ball in outer space. Sure, I'm okay. not gonna answer that question. You don't wanna answer it? No, I don't. No? no. Well, in your free time, sure. you can check out the YouTube channel and kinda see where it goes from there. Thank you so much. But uh, water does not curve around a ball, and it's we live on a flat, motionless plane. Sure. So, check it Have out. A good day. All right, thanks, you too. Thanks. All right, she doesn't wanna lose her job so she didn't want to interact. All right. We got about five more minutes. Uh, well, yeah, I gave her five. There you go. Gave her five. No, I gave her uh, my YouTube channel card, which has various propaganda on it for to lead her to flat earth hey Vincent thanks man appreciate it thanks enjoy the coffee and the next cab ride yeah well I hope it's productive this next one Dania I appreciate it cheers you've been with me since my Facebook days also I appreciate you yeah people that don't want to talk about it they're not really and they're in uniform they don't want to lose their job, you know. They don't. They don't want to go that next route. So. All right. Pay attention. Good to see you. Thanks for coming in. Quarter. Okay. Jibby says Boston area so far. Boston Globe reporter coming to next one at Revere Beach this Saturday. So that would be what? The 12th? August 12th? So look at look for Jibby in Boston. <laughs> Curly's? Curly's accent? Yeah, I, hey, that's a good idea. Irto Gorto says, take the bus and talk to riders. You know, that's a good idea because there's the light rail. The light rail is super cheap, 350, and I can do, I can hang out on the light rail for six hours, you know, and just go back and forth. Get off, get something to eat, and then come back on. Start with the celebs coming out, yeah? Yeah, try to use that to our advantage, that Kyrie Irving. No, they can't they can be. Some people just want to sit there though, lickety split. He says people on the train can be interactive. 
Yeah, the light rail might be a good idea, especially, hey, so August 22nd is the first day of school here at the University of Minnesota. And there are tons of college kids who take uh, the train from one part of the campus to the other because they got dorms that they live on. <laughs> Earth Pond says, I wonder if Kyrie Irving is sub to deep inside the rabbit hole. Okay, so maybe the next one could be... I'd, I'd like to try this Uber thing one more time and see how it goes. But yeah, the the light rail would probably be a good idea. Just, yeah. Wear a waking up, yep. Those, that's, the, those, that's, those are the only pair that I have. All the other balls, they're, they're gone. The globe. It's like a zit. We just gotta pop it. Yeah, Mickey Rush, I, you know, I thought about the Uber driver thing, and I had some constructive criticism about if you work enough, they'll actually rent you a car, so you could do it, because I have a 2000, and so I don't think, I think that their cap is 2001 or 2002 or something like that. Get in the car. Wow, this thousand mile an hour kills me. Yeah, you would. Any colleges? Yeah, so Jibby, uh, this August 22nd is the first day of school at the University of Minnesota. And that's where I did half of my videos at the beginning when I was doing Facebook. So, and. When I have been at Lake Calhoun, I've had students who have heard of me doing the satellite surfing deal. So, so yeah, this, um, <laughs> yeah, make it right, right. Go fund me for Joshua's 2017 new car. Could you imagine Flat Earth Reset would have a conniption? I think he would have an, an he would literally have an aneurysm. He would literally have a heart attack if I came up with a GoFundMe page for a new car. Just even to do it just for fun. To do it for fun and then it gets funded. Could you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, well, hey, you know, I mean, that's tempting. Uh, okay, so Gingerbush says, apparently around Niagara Falls you are not allowed to carry a sign, but parks, police said a t-shirt is okay. Uh, yeah, Big Rolio, I hear that. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, well, hey, Mickey Rush, I'm not gonna stop you. <laughs> He'd probably lose his voice. And then we'd have to question his gender, right? He'd lose his voice. It'd be high pitch. He made a video about me, too. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Wait till the end of this month. Wait till the end of this month. Minneapolis is going to get hard. Hit hard. All right, for real, where's this guy at? Not that I don't like talking to you guys, but... Seriously. Okay, three minutes. We've got Victor. That's our next driver, Victor. Victor, Vector. Ow. All is one now says I had an aneurysm in 2009. They say worse than having, than giving birth. Okay, so act like, okay, act like it's a dumb idea. Yeah, they do. Hey, Jeff, all right. You should do, and I, uh, did I tell you I went to that place and they were not at all into me being there. 
and none of them were flat earthers. All right, the driver's coming here in a minute. Who wants a PSA? It sounds like a we're playing golf here. Authentic in 10, he's lining up. This looks like an 18-foot putt. Little break to the left. He's got a bit of a breeze northeast, east. Hey everybody in Starbucks. I'd just like to present the idea that you guys should investigate the idea of the earth being flat and not a ball like we're taught in school. Water does not curve around a ball and it always finds its level, okay? It's the best proof that I got. Water does not curve. If you'd be so inclined to check out my claims, I'd love for you to check out my YouTube channel. And, no? Okay. So, if I presented you with new evidence that we live on a flat plane? No? Okay. You ladies have a good afternoon. All right. Sir? Thank you. Have a good afternoon. Here you go, man. Sir, check it out. There you go, man. <laughs> Have a good afternoon. Thanks. Investigate everything that you've been told, okay? <laughs> really appreciate it, man. Have a good one. Have a good night. Thanks, you too. All right. Well, I think that was a. I think that was a hole in one. All right. Yeah, it really is. Starbucks. They don't have very good coffee. This mocha. Man. Not very good. Sir, I'm going to have to ask you to vacate the premises. Hey, Victor. Hey, hello. Is your name Joshua? My name is Joshua. Uh, nice to meet you. Hey, you too, man. Uh, thank you for calling. Hey, I appreciate you picking me up. Of course, of course. Yeah. Walk along, Let's see where we're going. And then watch yeah. the patterns as they fly to gather them together into a pile. 1129. Why is that a bullet? Yes, sir. To feel them all around you. Such a great feeling. Back in the. So what are you listening to, man? Uh, Prairie Home Companion. Okay. Yeah, it's long one point one. They play the they play the uh, kicking leaves. They play the classic Prairie Home Companion with Garrison Taylor. Okay. That's the one that I like. Because they're scheduled. They're they're organized. We've we've organized. So taking your man of faith in? Uh, am I a man of faith? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sure. I am, yeah. That's good, excellent. I am. Only way to be, right? Hey. Is this 26? No, take a left. Yeah. No, you're good, man. That's the only way to be. So how long have you been an Uber driver for? Two months. Two months, wow. Okay. What, you, what type of... Uh, People have you come across? Nothing everybody. Everybody. Yeah, everybody. Yeah. I would play football with other boys, and that all was sorts fun. of people. It yes. was sort of fun. It was supposed to be fun. People and that are. You tried to make it fun. Some so boys had pads, and other boys or something like that. Oh, yeah. 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 Theoretically, it yeah. Was yeah. I'm sure that a lot of people use uh, yeah. you as their, you know, counselor, their person they can vent to, maybe. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, so with you being a man of faith, um, what uh, you read the Bible then, right? Yes. Okay. 
lay there weeping, which is a yeah, terrible humiliation for uh, 11 years old. And we were arguing about whether this was right or not. And some of us said it was years, not yeah. right. You shouldn't pile on somebody. 37 years, okay. The ground, yeah. and the big boy said, 10 years myself. 10 years, that's, that's a, yeah. It's the best thing, well, best decision you can ever make in your away. life. That's what yeah. I did. I just walked away, and I, yeah. and I walked around town. No, I totally, I I totally agree, man. I, I've uh, thoughts, come up across, up like, some time, which I really, loved. really it was quiet interesting uh, dusk, verses myself you recently. Dusk, and you could grow up in uh, I'd love to people who were up share with you some of those. You familiar with Job, right? And the yes, Rosie oh, yes. Girl, okay. Rosemary, Rosemary oh, yeah. I thought about because she had died. What? Uh, she was just ten, which was. Do you remember much about Job? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, was a little poem on her what about stone. what about Job thirty-eight five? You familiar okay. with Job thirty-eight five? Read the verse. Okay. About Twelve years before she uh, was blue babies, they said, who had heart congestion. Who hath laid the measures thereof, if thou knowest? Or who hath stretched the line upon it? Yeah. You know, so he's questioning Job. Was he here? When I cre Were you here when I created the earth? You know, no. Of course you weren't, right? And he stretched the line upon it. If... You make a line. What is that line? Is what is a line? One could try to make it fun. That's a good question. I didn't quite know how. Is it straight or curved? Okay. So if you if you stretch a line, do you think that line is straight? You know what I mean? Like you know that that that. Uh, yarn that has chalk on it. Yeah. You know, and you're trying to create, you know, like a level house, yes, exactly. for example. Yep. You want that to be a straight line, right? So, do you think God may be referencing who stretched the line upon it? Do you think that He's talking about a straight line? I mean, maybe. You stretch the line upon the earth. Yeah. How, how do you see that? I do see that as him stretching a straight line upon the earth. Are, are, you, stu are you studying? Uh, are you studying to be a pastor? No, I'm not actually. No, I just I, I understand. Uh, I just have a, a. That's one of my gifts, I guess. My spiritual gifts is understanding God's word, prophecy, if you will. Right. And the reason it's a fascinating verse for me is I have recently become a. Well, to to understand like Job thirty eight five would mean that from if you and I were on the shore of the Michigan Lake, okay, and then we saw fifty two miles away the Chicago skyline, and we were to stretch a line or maybe a laser from one shore to the other. We shouldn't, because of the Earth's, because of what they tell us, the Earth being a ball, the curvature of the Earth, the curvature of the Earth yeah, we shouldn't be able to see the Sears Tower, because 52 miles in accordance with the Earth's curvature calculation, 8 inches per mile squared, is 1,800 feet of curvature. But what if I was to tell you, how high is, how high is the Sears Tower? The Sears Tower so with that being said, from one shore to the other shore, we're stretching a line across the lake. Does that make sense? Yeah, I was I was reading something about this a couple of weeks ago about how somebody thousands of years ago figured out uh, a twenty-four hour day. Yeah, so would it would it ever cross your mind that we were taught as children that we live on a flat, motionless plane 
and not a ball like we're taught in school. You know, because water, what does what are what are some of the characteristics that you notice about water on Earth or just in this reality? Do you do you notice that water will always find its level? Okay. And so it will always fill the container that you put water in, but then it will always be level and flat. Is that kind of a universal observation that we could have about water? That you and I could both agree on? Depends on what kind of vessels water is in, right? Okay. But if, if you and I were to dig a hole and create a man-made lake, for example, and we were to fill that hole with water, would that water be level and flat? Or would it have curvature to it? It would curve according to uh, what it's filling up. Okay, so the sand, would it fill the sand up with water, right? Sand is porous, right? Yeah. So it would fill up the sand and then it would feel level, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. So if we're if they tell us that we're spinning at over a, just over a thousand miles an hour, one thousand and twenty four miles an hour, why is it that the water isn't spinning off of the oceans at the equator? Like if you were to, to dunk a tennis ball in water and then spin it? How come the how come the oceans don't fly off in a similar fashion? Centripetal and centrifugal force. Centrifugal force? Centripetal and centrifugal both. Okay. Centripetal one yeah, centrifugal force you in, centripetal pushes you out. I think they balance each other out. That's 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 what I that's what I've learned. Okay. Do you think that this information would draw you towards investigating what we were taught as children and that we do in fact live on a flat motionless plane and not a ball or does it just not really like kind of matter is it I know there's a scripture where David talks about the Lord uh, does set something on the circle of the earth yeah. In Isaiah, it actually does differentiate between a circle and a sphere. Yeah. And I didn't. I'd encourage you to to check that out. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. In in regards to those, because there are um, almost forty verses in the Bible where it does reference the Earth being firm and immovable. Yeah. Interesting people are when they don't know you're watching them. Do you know who Charles Lawson is? He I've heard the name. Coming. Okay. This is, this is why yeah. I got a Take a right here. Yep. Thank you. Yeah, and uh, he does a, an interesting sermon about the earth being flat. He's not saying that the earth is flat, but he's saying that there's some serious inconsistencies with what we're taught as children okay. about the shape of the earth. And he just encourages people to investigate those claims. Yeah, I, I, I don't totally agree with everything that science says. Mm -hmm. Because a lot of science is, is a theory. I think people go too much of a uh, high opinion of their theory. And can't put your opinion on their God's facts. Sure. Yeah. Take it right here. Yeah, right in here. Right. There's, a, there's a guy named Rob Skiba. -E yeah, S K. S K I B A. Uh, that car right there, the white one straight ahead there. Um, his name is Rob Skiba. I'd love to write his name down on the back of that card I gave you. I'll I'll give you here. Did I give you that card? No, no, no. No. Because I have a YouTube channel and uh, I actually interact with the public in regards to the idea of the Earth being flat. And he's kind of a, a Christian 
flat earther who does some phenomenal uh, dialogues and presentations. Thank you very much. And that's kind of what I do, man. I, I actually, this is my first time going into Uber cabs, but I share with the drivers the idea of the earth being flat and motionless and firm and the lies of the enemy have polluted this reality to make us believe that we live on a ball in outer space. And I just encourage you to investigate like NASA and the CGI that they use to tell us about outer space. And I got some links in the description section below of this video right now and on my uh, YouTube channel that are very provocative. So, God bless you, Victor. God bless you. Uh, thank you. Appreciate yeah, it, sir. Uh, thank you. You have a blessed day. Yeah, you too, man. Bye-bye. Uh, All right. So, what do you think? That was pretty good. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, Simon, I didn't. <laughs> but... It doesn't really uh, matter because I do... I am in my legal right to film people in public, whether I let them know or not. So we'll finish that on a good note. I mean... That was... Uh, Encouraging. Uh, hang on just a second, everybody. Set. All right. So I hope that went as well as it could for everybody. Not, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect. I, you know, obviously I wanted it to go one way and it went a different way. So something I'd like to brush up on, uh, maybe do the, the light rail thing a bit, maybe we could try this Uber thing again, I'm not sure, yeah, lickety split, he says, uh, it was a bunch of old dudes, so, um, <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know, that, yeah, that's, that's kind of a... It was still good, though, yeah. All three of them know... Well, at least the two guys at the end know. The first guy, just he just was not into it. The second guy, he was into it because he, he wanted to know. Maybe he wanted the fare, you know? So he was like, yeah, come on in. But he seemed to understand where I was coming from. Yeah, I think it went well also, Chris. Hey, Jamie Brown, good to see ya. Thanks for coming in, man. Appreciate it. Joy says a lot of new flat earthers in their 50s. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, well, at least all of them got the information pertaining to flat earth, so they can investigate it on their own time. And, though, yeah, those people at Starbucks got smacked. You know? I mean, could I have walked up to them gently and handed them my, my card? You know, I could have, I guess. But there were a couple of college kids who kind of were snickering. They thought it was kind of funny. But, yeah, I mean, maybe I could have handed out my card, been a little bit more low-key. But 
I think they would have reacted the same way. Those two ladies were not into it at all. They certainly uh, are in the, the reality that they're living in. Jordan Hatch is 23. Get a megaphone next time, right? Fifty six. I'm all out of bubble gum, man. I am all out of bubble gum. So I appreciate everybody's uh, viewership and encouragement while the stream was going on. You know, I, I wanted to ask them questions. I thought it was going to go one way, but um, I have to figure out, you know, maybe we could try it again next week. See how to, and hey, you know, maybe we'll just come across younger people. I mean, it's Sunday, like. Would I have, do you think I'd have to go downtown Minneapolis or closer to the U to get some younger people? Hey, Flat Trotter, I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just trying, you know. We're all trying different avenues, different ways to present Flat Earth to people. And this, this was a unique idea. So I figured, let's do it. Let's give it a shot and see, and see how it goes. Ace McLeod says, True Ron, and once you get it, a 22 year old and a 66 year old can be on the same level and as good and be good friends as anybody. Critical thinking always great work. I appreciate it. Simon says, my granddad is 89 years old and he's a flat earther. Hey, there you go. AI is a robot on flat earth propaganda machine. Well, thanks Ace, appreciate it. Loco. Much appreciated. So, Hey, it went as well as it could have, right? It went as well as it could have. This is the way it was always meant to go. They were live, we're back. So, it was my first time, and so maybe I was a bit nervous to get inside with that first cabbie, but he wasn't really into it. Yeah, this area here is really bad with connection. Funny how they can communicate with the satellite billions of miles away to give us the image of our solar system in the Milky Way galaxy, but I lose signal five minutes down the road from my house. Funny how that all works, huh? Yeah, I stay away from the whole constellation eclipse conversation. In my opinion, I don't think that the whole eclipse thing uh, proves globe, proves flat earth. Yeah, I don't know who you're talking about. Collins. I don't know who Phil is. Phil Collins? The previous leader of Genesis? Ah, uh, okay, I see what you're saying. That Phil. That's the Phil you're referring to. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't, uh, I think we're all starting to get a better idea of who's on board with us and who's not. Unfortunately, it doesn't help the newcomers to Flat Earth who have to hear about all the drama that's going on. 
Um, but when you have human beings, you're going to have drama. So, I think we all need to be aware of that. And the more that we're aware of the drama that's going to ensue as humans become more prevalent to the idea of Flat Earth, we're going to have a lot more opposition. So, just got home here. I'll have to see what Phil's talking about so I can get an idea. So here's my, here's my humble abode. Well, we're always going to have naysayers. That's for sure. I think it'd be sh it should be better now for everybody. The constantly see that that's the thing is constellations don't prove anything, man. That that doesn't prove anything. We as human beings don't have dominion over the sky. You know? Hey cat's eyes. Yeah, the <laughs> So look at this. That's the Wi-Fi right there. And that's my dirty bed. So, how do you like that? So that's my dirty room. And I got the, the Wi-Fi right there. So, and I can't disconnect it overnight because there's people who use it here. <laughs> I know, right? Whoa! But... I, uh, I'm thankful that everybody was able to hang out and, and watch the, you know, the first episode of Flat Cab, you know, it went as well as it could have, and we could try it again, if you guys are up to trying that again, or maybe do the light rail thing, the light rail thing might work out a little bit better, I don't know how I could approach people there. But we got two weeks until the first day of school at the University of Minnesota. And I'm excited about that. I'm excited about the conversations that I'm able to have with the college kids. Because, you know, if I throw on a university shirt and jeans, I look like, you know, I look just as old as everybody else there. So... It's a good opportunity to be able to kind of sneak in like a Trojan horse and flat smack everybody with red pills. So it's just in. I just have a strong passion and desire for those kids to have an opportunity to really critically think and get an in your face challenge of what they're being taught at that school. Uh, no, I, I haven't gotten arrested yet there, Keanu. Uh, it's legal, you know, for me to do this, to film people in public. And that's what I did at, at my earlier streams. So I invite you to check out, you know, my earlier streams that I did on Facebook before I, I did YouTube. And see how my interactions went there. And I was definitely uh, more reserved than I am now. I, I didn't even often present Flat Earth as people were walking by. You know, I didn't, I didn't shout it from the rooftops, if you will. Um, the University of Minnesota campus is public property. So just a heads up there, there are some private... Schools here, like the University of St. Thomas, is private, but, you know, I go to the University of Minnesota, so. 
<laughs> well, yeah. You know, and they could edit it for whatever they want. If that's if that's their desire to edit what I say so that they can twist it and manipulate it and make it sound like it's something that it's not, that's on them. So if that's their priority, then that's their priority. They can they can do that. So it is a yeah, it is a state university though. And that's the thing, is they're they're being taught uh, a particular you know idea and to bring in something that contradicts that idea is a threat to the establishment and that's that's what I am I'm a threat so I don't know what everybody else has got going on tonight but I'm gonna cook up some food here in a minute I appreciate everybody watching and your encouragement and your constructive criticism of how we can uh, get some more ideas out there. Bringing this to the public, guys, we gotta... There's only so much that we can do in front of a computer screen, you know? Doing it in your own ways with your friends, family, and possibly your co-workers is great. But... Eventually, we gotta get comfortable talking to people in public in, in a civilized manner. Even with politicians, the news groups, newspapers, and just getting that information out there. And I do agree with what some people are saying with the narrative with Kyrie Irving being used to kind of discredit Flat Earthers and make it seem like, you know, he's making it sound like we're challenging the uh, educational system, which I am. I am doing that. But they are using uh, celebrities to downplay Flat Earth. And it's almost like bringing kids back to an educate, like re-educating them. Like, don't, don't listen to, you know, celebs, Kyrie Irving and stuff. So it's almost like they're paving the way for us... Flat Earthers to present this information as challenging authority. Yeah, it is. Free thought is frowned upon, Joy says. Giving out a, giving out stickers to people, yep. Cat size says. Hey Collins, appreciate it. 3 a.m. where you live. Yeah, I don't like Bliss either. Um, it's We've been living in ignorance for too long. So it's about time that we live in knowledge and in an informed society. Because this, in, this informed conscious community is growing and we're not going to we're not going to be comfortable living with other people who are living in ignorance, who prefer to be misinformed. You know, what is it like? The person who reads... The person who doesn't read the newspaper is misinformed. Or, no, the person who reads the newspaper is uninformed. The person who does read the newspaper is misinformed. So... As this flat earth community gains momentum, we're not going to want to live in a society of ignorance, you know? It's either you get informed and, you know, is, is flat earth going to become a dogmatic viewpoint? You know, think about that. People want to use religion as uh, an, a, a dogmatic idea, but is flat earth going to be a dogmatic viewpoint where if you don't believe that we live on a flat motionless plane you get sent to a re-education camp right because what because what else are we going to do right what else are we gonna hey joy thanks have a good night So are we going to want to continue to li to live in a in a society where kids want to continue to be misinformed 
and obey the establishment? And are they is is the state raising kids up to love the state and treat you and me the flat earth community as the enemy? Loco Tomo uh, authentic intent one of my top three favorite overall content creators. Hey, I really appreciate that. That's uh, an honor to hear that. And I just, I, I, I just want to bring it, bring it out there, you know, right out there. That's that's what I want to do. And I want to give people the opportunity to be informed. You know, that's all I want. Just give people an opportunity to become informed. And if they don't want to be, then you got to allow people to get to that point where we're at right now. For me, it took watching Eric Dubay's 200 Proofs halfway through. <laughs> right? And I'm listening to it in my car. So, hey, Cat's Eyes, appreciate it. I like my channel too. <laughs> uh, and and it's a humbling experience to hear that and to read that. And I wanna I wanna make you guys happy. I wanna I I I, I do go out of my way to make this a, as an entertaining as possible. But I also know what we're up against, and we're up against the public and the overall narrative. And so as a group, as, as a collective of this conscious community, whether, you know, regardless of your sexual orientation or your faith or whatever, at least we can come together as one and acknowledge that this reality in which we live in needs to change. And this is going to be a slow process. I mean, look at how long it took to indoctrinate people into the globe idea. You know, they tell us 500 years. So that's 500 years of generation of generation, you know, kind of just letting, you know, uh, forgetting about where we come from. Thank you, Cat's Eyes. Jordan Hatch, you are up there with ODD TV for, for me too. Hey, I appreciate that. Cat's Eyes. The Lord is looking down on you, saying, Well done, my son. May the Lord bless you always, Josh. Hey, appreciate that. Yeah, we got to be effective. And word of mouth and personal interactions is the best advertising. So, <laughs> um, I, I just... It's hard, it's hard for me to, I'll be honest, it's hard for me to hear the negativity, people creating videos, people thinking that those videos are going to scare me away and make me lose confidence, feel like what's the point type of deal, and hey Loco, I appreciate that comment also, that's, that's a very... I wow, I that's really awesome. I I just want I want you guys to also see what we're up against too. The public. How they react. Those last two guys were awesome in the Uber cabs. I appreciate you gentlemen so much. And I hope that your walk on this earth is more fulfilling after I had a conversation with you about this new, new, you know, basically newfound knowledge to us. Clearly the establishment knew everything, you know, and they know everything. They just continue to hide this. So, I don't know. Well, Jibby, I mean, what do you got to add, man? I'd love to add, I'd love to hear you add something. I mean, I'm just... I'm just speaking, man. I don't really have a whole lot to say, to be honest. I usually join other Google Hangouts and <laughs> I 
have my conversations there. But Yeah, well, the mainstream is going to get hit pretty hard at the end of this month in Minnesota. Yeah, the 98% of the government thinks that the earth is round. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi, so, you know, whatever that means, which is right there, you know, in my room. So talk about, talk about lucid dreams, man. Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I really don't know. Um, I mean, I could, I could probably put it out in the, in the hall here. Uh, yeah. When the space race, yeah, when the space race started. So, about the space race, in the early 60s, a uh, Russian cosmonaut went up into outer space and said that he didn't see any stars. And then you get, uh, oh no, he said that he did see stars. I'm sorry. I can't remember what his name is. But it's in one of Captain Obvious's most recent videos. I, I think I have it linked in my description section. But, and then shortly after when the three gentlemen landed on the moon and came back, they interviewed and said that they couldn't remember seeing any stars. Yeah, Rune, I'm gonna probably do that. Yeah, said no stars, right? So, well, I'm just rambling, guys. I, I don't know. I, I, I just, uh, again, thank you, everybody, for watching. Um, I'm going to get something to eat here and relax a little bit, and then I'll see everybody later on, some live streams on other channels. But shout out to you guys, everybody. Jules, keep on what you're doing. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, Zao Rain, I don't think your YouTube is broken. Maybe just refresh or something. Flatlander, I appreciate it. Minnesota, Flat Earth Love, yes. Minnesota is going to be the new capital of Flat Earth. Definitely at the end of this month, they're going to figure it out. Uh, thanks, Days. Jordan, yeah, we didn't know what to expect, but it, what, it is what it is. And we'll uh, see what happens the next time when we... Give Flat Cab one more uh, shot. Hopefully we'll come across some younger kids and we can have um, some good interactions then. So, Hey, Daniel, thank you so much for hanging out and sticking around. Michael Collins said no stars. Yep. Hey, I, I hope so. Simple question. Can you answer? You inspire people. Have a good day. Appreciate it. And, yeah, so I hope that through my walk and testimony, people are able to uh, gain the courage and the uh, will, will, will power to talk to their friends, family, co-workers, and strangers about Flat Earth. You guys have a good afternoon and night. This is Joshua from Authentic Intent, signing off.